All right, so we have been um, writing the equation of lines. This is what, like day four of this, something like that? I think it's something like that. This is like part three or part four. Does anybody know? Do you know, Annie? It's part a lot, right? Part a lot. We'll write it that way. All right, so first thing, at the top of this, notice it gives you guys steps. We're going to cover this up. Go for it. Yep. Absolutely. So up here, we're going to cross out those steps. I'm going to give you new steps. Okay. You ready for this? Annie, what is step number one? Label. And what do we label? X and Y. Joey, what's step number two? Step number two is write your equation. Joey, you're right. We're, we're keeping it with like my, my stuff, right? Write your equation. Step number three. Um, we're going to go with Jules. What's step number three? Substitute. Substitute. Step number four. Allie, what is it? Solve. Solve. And guess what? Those are the same steps we had last time, right? Right, Joey? The only difference is we're going to have to repeat. Got it? So those are the steps. And I'm going to show you. Are you ready? Let's look at this example. Annie, what was uh, what was your step? You told me to do what? Step number one. Label. So everybody, label your two points x and y. And since we have two points, we're going to label it x one y one, x two y two. Since we have points, this is the first point. That's why I got one. This is the second point. That's why I got two. Is that fair enough? Now, Grace, I didn't pick on you, but what's our equation? Do you happen to know? It's a little different. So I let, left it just write your equations or equations. What two things do we need to write the equation of a line? Number one, it's like an upside down W. What letter is that? N represents Starts with S, ends in loop. Slope. We need our slope. So instead of writing Y equals MX with speed, that's why I told Joey, I was like, very good, but we're going to write our slope equation this time, which is M equals Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. Kimmy, do you know what step number three was? What was it? Substitute. So I'm going to substitute my points, my values into that equation. So y2 is 5, y1 is 3, x2 is 4, x1 is 2. And Cody, what's step number four? Cody? Cody? Tyler, what's step number four? 
to set them before? Yes. Um, solve. Solve. So five minus three is two. Four minus two is two. And two over two is one. And remember, that's my M, a circle. Now, remember I told you we're going to repeat our steps. So we have our slope is one. And now I need a point. Jules, you there? I'm here. Jules, do you like the point two, three or four or five better? <laughs> I like two, three better. Good, so do I. So we're gonna write the point two, three. And now Ellie, what is my first step? Um, you have to label it X and Y. So we're gonna label X and Y. Mike, step number two. Mike? Yeah, Harmon. What's step number two? I can't hear you. Step number two. Uh, so we do y equals. Yeah, right. Y equals m x plus b. Step number three. Let's go with. Ooh. Ooh, here in the other game. Boy, who should I call on, Joe? Good answer. Willie! What's up, Harmon? What's up, dude? Louie, what's step number three? Step number three is substitute. So we're going to substitute in our numbers. So we're going to write three equals one times two plus B. Okay, who should I call? Mike, Mike, last step. Mike, what's the last step? Perfect. Mike said we do one times two is two. And then we're going to subtract the two. And we get B equals one. Now that I have M and I have B, well, I can write the equation of my line, which is Y equals one X plus one. Yeah, you're lagging a little bit, but it's okay. We're making do. Do you guys see how I did my steps twice? That's why I do this. I do it twice. All good? Whatever. Whatever uh, Mrs. Simmons has, I always do. Mrs. Simmons. Rules be one.
All right. All right, let's do the next example right next to it. All right, step number one. Jules, what's step number one? Um, label x and y. Yep, label x and y. So we have two points we're going to label x1, y1, and x2, y2. Ellie, step number two. Uh, write your equation. So we're going to write our equation, but we need our slope. So we're going to write our slope equation. Step number three. Patty, what's step number three? Substitute. Look at that. So we're going to substitute. So Y2 says 15. Y1 says 3. X2 says negative four, and X1 says negative two. Grace, what's the last step? Solve. So 15 minus three is 12. Negative four minus negative two is negative six. 12 divided by negative six is negative two. So I have M. Kimmy, which point do you like better? Which one do you like better? Two, three, or negative four, 15? Me too. I like the smaller numbers. You all good, Joe? You sure? All right, to tell you what's step number one. Ooh. Is it? Step number one. Oh, label. Label. Always label. So we have M, we need to label X and Y. Now, Joey, what do we write? Now we write y equals mx to c. Followed by what, Manny? Substitute. So y is 3, m is negative 2, x is 2, and we need b. Cody! Cody, what's the next next step? Solve. Solve. So negative two times two, well, that's negative four plus b. To get rid of minus four, we add four. So that's b equals seven. So we get y equals, okay? Y equals negative two X plus seven. You're like, mm -hmm. okay. I got ways of dealing with this. It's kind of fun. It was more fun pre COVID, but can't do it now. It's frowned upon. I had uh, the problems like written out 
and then cut them up into puzzle pieces. And then I would have you work in teams to kind of, you know, assemble the puzzle. And then we would have a race and there would be a prize. And then I would take the puzzle pieces and I like wouldn't give them to you, but throw them at you. It was fun for me. I didn't, it's not fun for you. I'd walk over and it'd be like, <laughs> it's like, you know, but you, you can't, you can't sneeze nowadays. You sneeze, like somebody looks at you like, you're like, whoa. You're like, you can't do that here. Crazy. All right. I want you guys to try this example. It says example 23. Go ahead, try example 23. All right, label it, write your equation, substitute, All right, here we go. First step, always label. We have two points, so x1, y1, x2, y2. Step number two, to write our formula. So we need to find our slope. So we label it y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Then we substitute. I'm walking around, some of you guys are only doing half. Okay, you're only doing half. So we have four minus two over zero minus two. Four minus two is two. Zero minus two is negative two. So my slope is negative one. Okay. So the slope is negative one. After that, we need to pick a point, either two, two or zero, four. I personally like zero, four. Why? Because there's a zero. I like zero. Very easy. Don't do your homework. Zero. Nice. Don't have screen. Pretty nice. You know what I'm talking about? Of course not. You do all of your homework, right, Joey? Why are you looking around? You say, yes, I do all of my homework. There you go. So Joey, I like that one, that zero four. You're gonna see why in a second. Not only is it easy to multiply by zero, but here we go. N equals negative one. You cool with that, Joey? The point I chose was zero four. Label it. Ready for this? Wait, don't look, don't blink. Y equals MX plus B. 
Y is four, Joey. M, negative one. X, zero. Ooh. Would zero times anything, Joey? So if that's zero, it cancels out and I get B equals four. Isn't that nice? So then I get Y equals negative one X plus four. See what I mean about zeros are easy to deal with, they're nice. It's just like, whoop, zero. Did you get that, Andy? All right. Let's try example 24. Gonna be on YouTube. Did she write me a note too? Did she be like, can you please excuse Mr. Harmon from the rest of his day? He has a appointment. No, I think appointment sounds better. And then, and then both appointment with both. Did you do that? No, no, I still have to, I would still have to teach you. I wouldn't want to miss this class. It's my favorite class of the day. I'm not lying about that. It's pretty fun. Yeah. All right, let me get through this. All right, step number one, always label your points. Always label. So we're going to label X1, Y1, X2, Y2. Step number two is to write your formula. But we need our slope, so we're going to write our slope formula. Then we are going to substitute. So I'm going to do 4 minus 3 over 1 minus 2. 4 minus 3 is 1. 1 minus 2 is negative 1. So I get my slope is negative 1. Now, which point do you like better, Maddie? Two, three, or one, four? Yeah, it's like splitting the hairs here, right? There's not much of a difference between them. You said one, four. So we're going to label our point. Then we're going to write y equals mx plus b, like Joey tells me to do. Then I got 4 equals negative 1 times 1 plus b. Well, negative 1 times 1 is negative 1. And Grace, bring it on and on. How do we get rid of that minus 1? Yep, so I do. Plus 1 on both sides. Four plus one is five. 
So my answer is y equals negative 1 x plus 5. What? I won't. Oh, now, are you guys ready for your homework? Are you ready for it? All right, write this down. I'm not putting it on Schoology. So you, you got it? Where, where do you write your homework down, Jay? Okay, you ready for it? Are you sure? You guys at home, do you promise you'll do your homework tonight? Mike, do you promise you'll do your homework? John? Mike? Maybe. My, maybe. All right. It is supposed to be 75 degrees outside. Go outside and play for 30 minutes. I don't know. Maybe, maybe pick up some sticks. That's some good homework. Weed. All right. Maybe, maybe you go play in, in the creek. Catch some, catch some crayfish. Something like that. Do something outside. Go have fun. It's really nice. Why'd she home. leave the Zoom, Harmon? You weren't I even didn't. done talking. I didn't leave the Zoom. No, Olivia Harmon left the Zoom. Oh, well, this is what it is. All right, so go outside, play, have some fun. You've earned it. We've worked really hard this winter, okay? This is why we work so hard in the winter. It's not fun. We just like to make it a little bit more miserable, and then we take our fun time in the spring. All right, so do something outside. Leave your phone inside, Annie. Inside. 